Hey what's up everyone and welcome back to Mr. 3D. So in today's video I'm gonna be showing you an amazing add-on known as Physical Starlight and Atmosphere for Blender which lets you create amazing atmosphere in Blender with procedural nodes. So without any further ado let's jump straight into this tutorial. Alright to get this add-on you have to go to this link I will leave this link in the description below and purchase this add-on if you like this. So yeah let's fire up Blender and see how it works. So first thing you gonna wanna do is to install the add-on that you have downloaded. So go into the edit preferences add-on section, click on install and find the add-on wherever you have saved. I have already installed it. It's right here. Enable it and you're good to go. Now where to find this add-on? Well, press N on your keyboard and go all the way over to atmosphere. Now you can see we have a new property right here atmosphere. So what you have to do is to check this box right here and it will not show up in the viewport so you have to go into the rendered mode in order for it to work. Now as you can see from one click we have a beautiful atmosphere, beautiful sun and all that crazy colorful fog. So now you have a lot of settings right here, sun, atmosphere, stars, ground, artistic controls as well. So don't worry we will go through each of these in this video and I will show you how to make your landscapes look amazing with this add-on. So yeah, now at the top you have presets, so I have earth, mars, Nishita, and retrowave. And you can also you know modify these values right here and you can also create your own preset as well and yeah so first we have sun azimuth and elevation so what azimuth does is it changes the position of the sun in horizontal direction and elevation is you know all that stuff day and night evening you can do with this you can also use sun disk but it's fine you have to check this so yeah sun lamp you also have to make sure it's checked don't uncheck these two properties right here these are very important from here you will find out sun angular diameter so what it is it is sun size let me show you if you increase this the sun is going to be bigger and if you decrease this sun is going to be very smaller so you can figure out and you have temperature in kelvin so you can increase this decrease this i want this to be about 20,000 kelvin right and the intensity of the sun going to increase this to about 300k and you have a option called binary sun it will add another sun to our scene this circle right here and you can also increase the distance phase angular scale temperature intensity as well but binary sun is not needed for most of the time for you so we will uncheck this one and then we have atmosphere so the atmosphere means these fog and lighting all that stuff colorful and you have density of the atmosphere how much you want how less you want it depends on you and we have height of this color gradient and we will leave that at default and we have intensity as well so yeah i think the default one is nice use that and we have night intensity i have not find any difference with it so you can leave it at default and you have colors so yes you can change these colors to whatever you want color in scattering to blue absorption yes right here however you want currently I'm going to use default values because they are good combination of colors and we have my scattering so I don't think it's fine but it's most of the time it's useful these sun glares right here as you can see nice and we have anisotropy so you can see there is sun bloom with it so i will leave that at right here and we have 
next part is stars so let me just move this to night cycle and you can see uh, right here we have intensity so this looks beautiful as you can see we have intensity of the stars and we have radiance gamma I don't know what that does but I think it makes stars to light up the scene uh, yes that's what it is so you can change intensity radiance gamma as well and all that stuff so I will leave that at default because we have few of these and we have ground so most of the time you may need this because it's amazing and you have color of the ground like this you have a lot of options right here and and the artistic controls so I don't find this value much so you hold down control to snap a little bit of it so yeah that's it for the artistic controls distance scaler yes this value is nice you know you can see the difference between sliding this value I will leave it at default and the fall off so yeah this is a very nice property so yes that's it for this uh, section I have showed you how this all system works now let me show you an example from one of my scenes so let me open my scene right here and make sure to join my discord server link is in the description below we have currently 75 members so make sure to join and make this community big all right we have this scene right here let's go into the rendered mode and see what we've got it's gonna take a little bit of time loading shaders so I'm just gonna pause this video for now all right we got it so as you can see this is a scene using this amazing add-on I was just showing you how to use this as you can see this scene is amazing with this add-on so I highly recommend you if you want to create realistic looking scenes in blender that it its link I will leave this down in the description below for you to grab this add-on and if you want this project file that I have created right here you can get it for two dollars on gumroad I will leave the link in the description below let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section below and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share it with your friends and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you won't miss the next video or the next update I will catch you in the next video bye